Are you tired of paying over $300 on courses on how to learn to talk to women? Yeah, I was too. It's not something I'm proud of, but truth be told, I must have borrowed, scraped and sometimes even stole money to buy another course on how to get ahead or how to talk to women and soak up that knowledge. I was all knowledge me. In fact, that was mostly my problem in life is that I was mostly in my head. How to feel better about myself. Yeah, there's probably a book for that or a training course. How to get better at staff management. Great, another learning course or a book. Interestingly, when the answer came to me, it was so bloody simple. And it was the answer I'd been given by so many people in the past. Just be yourself. Of course, I'm not too fond of that answer because you can take it many ways. Just being myself would mean that I'd turn up to interviews and dates in my jogging bottoms and my tracksuit tops. I like my comfort, me. I'm not one of the most motivated individuals, let's say. So I mean there has to be some leeway with this answer. But you can also put your best foot forward whilst being yourself and you don't need to lie through your teeth to do it. Showing the best side of yourself, which is real, without being an outright liar. See, as humans, we tend to follow the crowd. And if someone else is doing it successfully, then we want to mimic that too. That absolutely works in business and a whole lot of other avenues out there. In music, they all copy the same chords and don't go too far outside their comfort zone. In screenplay and movies, there's a story formula that seems to work and everyone copies and doesn't go too far out their comfort zone because they're worried about their bottom line. But humans? Well, weirdly, as humans, we're so different that it has to be down to what works for the person. I did an alpha male video last week saying that you don't need to be an alpha male to succeed. And I got quite a lot of pushback. But if you look at the two most popular creators on YouTube at the moment, PewDiePie and Mr. Beast, alpha males? I think not. I'd probably down them both in a fight. And that's only because I was taught to scrap in the environment that I grew up in. My mum thought I needed to defend myself. And I probably did given the area that I was in. And I'm soft as shit too. In life, we shouldn't mimic others. Not in life anyway. Or when it comes to the women we pick, the jobs that we do or even the skills that we take on board. It should be our choice what we want and what we've always wanted. And that's why you absolutely suck at life. Because you've taken the path that you thought you should have. You've chosen the career that your parents told you to choose. Or you stayed at a job that a potential partner that you liked wanted you in work. Or even we didn't pursue the job because we thought we would suck at it. Or we didn't pursue it because we thought we'd never be that good. And we're not getting what we wanted. Me, I was set to go to all the good universities as a kid. I was at the top of my class in the international golf team. My dad had connections, my family had connections, but in reality, I fucked it all up. I, I rebelled. And in a way, I'm glad that I rebelled because I was headed for catastrophic failure. I'd have been stuck in a job that I didn't want to do with a sport that I really didn't get enjoyment out of anymore and with I dare say perhaps a family I didn't want all because I chose the path that society deemed that I chose that my parents thought were for me I mean both my mum and dad were so butthurt when I stopped doing the things that they thought were laid out for me in fact my mum cried a lot I just dropped it all and, and headed for the bottle and I was a big disappointment. Even a worse disappointment when I spent my 20s washing dishes and waiting tables. But in reality, now I'm leading the most authentic, deeply awesome and loving life that I would never thought I'd have the fortune to experience ever. I got the 2.4 children. I'm doing what I love. And right now I'm getting everything I wanted out of life. Family, we 
tackle problems as a team. It's it's amazing. It's wholesome. It's lovely. So you can make all the excuses that you want. Learn how to do whatever. But if you aren't being true to yourself, you're never going to get out of life what you want. Even as a rich and successful person. If it's not touching you on a deeper level and everything seems bland, time to change that mindset, my friend. Anyway, peace.